The Bible is the living, breathing word of the God of the universe. It tells the story of mankind from its beginning to its end. It tells of the creation. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. It tells of man's sin and its consequences. Yea, hath God said, He shall not eat of every tree of the garden? He shall not surely die. It tells of man's corruption, of God's judgment, and of his grace. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination or thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. And the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. He tells of man's willful rebellion against God. And they said, let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. But God said, let us go down and there confuse their language. So the Lord scattered them upon the face of all the earth. He tells of God's plan to bring salvation to the world through the nation of Israel. The Lord said to Abraham, I'll make of thee a great nation, and I'll bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. It tells of the coming of the Savior. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. It tells how Israel rejected a Messiah. He came to his own, and his own received him not. We will not have this man to reign over us. Crucify him! Crucify him! It tells of Christ's victory over sin, death, and the grave. He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. It tells of Christ coming to take his church to himself. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. It tells of the coming of the Antichrist. That man of sin will be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, all that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. It tells of God's judgment on corrupt mankind, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. It tells of Christ's second coming and the millennial reign on earth. Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints, and they shall reign with him a thousand years. It tells of man's final rebellion under the leadership of Satan. And when a thousand years are expired, Satan shall be loosed out of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. It tells of the final judgment, all of the people of all the earth of all time and I saw a great white throne, and I saw the dead, small and great, stand before God. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. It tells of God's new creation. 
and I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. The Bible ends with an invitation to all people. Come, come, come. And with a promise to all people, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. So, where will you spend eternity? Have you accepted God's free gift of salvation? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved.